YouTube. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Graham's Vids again. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Okay, today I'm uh, I'm still waiting for uh, a flashback arrestor for my from America. Actually, I've ordered it the other day. It hasn't arrived yet. So I thought today I'll tap into my um, airbox for the um, input of the HHO into my airbox into the air intake. So I've taken the top of the airbox of the um, air filter off, and it's in my clamp vice now. I'm going to drill a hole just about here. Well, this is the uh, obviously the output where the, where the air draws into the engine this way. Um, and I've got my pipe fitting, I've got some washers, and some, this is what I'm going to put into actually this one here. I'm going to put into my um, uh, air filter box. Um, got a pipe adapter here, which I'm going to screw that in the other, the other side of that with the washers on the other side. So I'm going to drill a hole in here now and uh, go for the next stage. Okay, I'll draw, draw a nice clean hole through there. <coughs> um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bit of a taper in there and give it a bit of a thread for the actual uh, pipe adapter to fit in there. So uh, make a nice little thread in there and then uh, put the washers on. Oh, right. oh my gosh. <laughs> Katie, you've been oh busy. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Say hello to everyone on YouTube. Say hello. Hello. Good boy. Right, okay, I've tapered, uh, I've tapped into the uh, a nice thread into uh, the airbox there and this screws in. Like a charm. So I'm going to put some uh, PTFE tape around that, a washer, and then uh, attach another bolt from inside. So far, so good. Okay, I'll put some PTFE tape around it, uh, a washer at the top here. I'm going to screw that in nice and tight. It's a nice tight fit in there. Pinch down just nicely around that. Good tight seal. Excellent. Ain't going nowhere. Right now for the other side. Okay, I put some more uh, PTFE tape around the um, inside here. Uh, I'm going to place a washer around first of all. Like so. And I've got a quarter inch pipe fit in here, which screws on there, just beautiful. Apply that as well. I'll give it a good tight fit in. Just screw it up now, I can't do it one hand, so I've turned the camera off. Okay, screwed it onto place, it's a nice tight seal around that. Just an air test on it, it's very, very tight indeed, no air gets out. What I'm going to also do is, um, I'm going to put a pipe in here like so. Yes, yeah, so it's just in there like that, okay. And that will feed down into the, uh, right near where the um, uh, air intake goes to. Um, so once it's attached to the outside pipe, to the actual HHO going in, like so. It will come out through there and into the intake. That's a nice little fit in there, works out perfectly. Like I say, when I, when I get my um, flashback arrestor from uh, uh, America when it arrives, which I hopefully will arrive by Monday or Tuesday, I can get moving on forward with the HHO in the car. But for now, uh, obviously I can't dry the car like with a big hole in the air to the side, so what I've got is I've got myself a little bung to put in the end of this. So uh, that will go in to there. I'll put some tape around that, keep it in place. So whilst I'm driving my car around <laughs> at the moment without the HHO, uh, that bung will be taped in place and keep it nice and airtight. There you go, that's how, that's how I've done my um, pipe fit into my uh, air intake anyway. Nice, neat, nice and neat, no gunky glue needed, just neat and tidy. Thanks for watching guys, take care of yourself. Ta-da! Yeah, the um, reason why I'm going to put a pipe feed inside this hole there's little sensors down there. I'm going to try and get way past them in case they get affected by the hydrogen oxygen input. So, um, yeah, that's why I've got the pipe coming out after the uh, intake here. So, uh, there we go. I couldn't put anywhere else on here because you can't drill into this. That's why I had no option to put it in there. Okay, it's all back in place now, all screwed in. Just gonna start the engine up, make sure there's no air coming uh, sucked in through those gaps, but nothing, there's no gaps there at all. 
yeah, hydrogen telemetry is going to go in here between my grill. I'll take this grill off. It's going to go just in there. Um, I'm going to put my uh, water reservoir here, and I think I'm going to place the um, uh, bubbler right next to it, right over here somewhere, and it'll feed into the pipe just there, which I just fitted. Take care now. Ta-da.